The first week of the Hannah Gutierrez Reed trial is in the books. That's the armor for the movie Rust with Alec Baldwin as lead actor and producer. Well, she's on trial for involuntary manslaughter. And after two days of testimony, it's time to analyze the case. Here are my three takeaways. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, AKA the Florida Lawman. If you like these videos, please like them and subscribe. So takeaway number one, rainbow hair has no jury appeal. So the armor in this case, who is the defendant, is a 24 year old woman named Hannah Gutierrez Reed. She is the daughter of a legendary armor, but Miss Gutierrez Reed has only done one other film before. She's inexperienced, she seemed to be unorganized, she seemed to be distracted, and she has rainbow hair. Though you might, some of you are saying, well, why does it matter? She's a young woman, she should be able to dress and wear her hair as she likes. Yeah, sure, but it doesn't have jury appeal. The jurors are not gonna like it. And you know how I know that? Because the defendant knows that. And the defendant changed her hair for trial. She's no longer the you know, freewheeling, rainbow-haired party girl that she was in the videos and the still photos of the, uh, during the, the, tr the movie. Now she's a serious, mature defendant wearing a suit and dark hair. Now, that's fine. Defendants are known to change their appearances and their personas all the time when it comes to trial. But the videos don't lie. And when it comes to a job as serious as an armor, where you're in charge of the weapons on a set, and it looks like you're not taking their job seriously, it looks like you're more interested in partying and doing drugs, and I'll get to her text messages in a minute, but that's pretty damning stuff. And you can be all professional you want at trial, but when the jury sees you, where it looks like you're just scattered all over the place, where you're responsible for the fact that six live rounds got on the set, including the bullet that ended up killing the cinematographer, uh, Helena Hutchins. I mean, it, it's a tragedy and it wasn't intentional, but she's being charged with involuntary manslaughter, which is gross negligence. She was so negligent in doing her job that it led to this death. So the fact that she was out there partying, wearing the, the, uh, the, the rainbow hair and not seem to care as much about doing her job right, that goes directly to this crime. Number two, it's 2024, and that means that text messages again prove to be a prosecutor's best friend. Yeah, we don't know if Hannah Gutierrez-Reed is gonna testify at the trial, but she may not need to because prosecutors already have her own words. Her own words in a text message where she was um, talking about smoking, where she was sending other messages talking about sitting in a jacuzzi and, and uh, doing drugs. I mean, this is important, it's relevant because it was the night before Helena Hutchins was killed by the bullet. And who was responsible for bringing those bullets on the set? Well, the armor. Now the armor here, the defendant, is saying whether well, it was the, the supplier and it's their fault. Okay, but you're the one who was looking for drugs the night before, who was texting about smoking. Uh, you're the one with the rainbow hair. You're the one who's inexperienced. And ultimately, the buck stops with the armor. So this is all powerful evidence. It's her own words. People lie, but text messages don't. And although the prosecution hasn't yet said what drugs she's using, whether it's cocaine or marijuana, the messages speak for themselves. The judge who allowed this evidence into the trial said that the relevant ones, meaning the text messages, are the one where she's smoking weed with ammo in the hotel room and that she's smoking in the jacuzzi, the judge said. Uh, Among the texts that Gutierrez Reed sent to a crew member the evening of October 20th, 2021 were, I might go smoke in the jacuzzi soon and headed down to get high out back. Tells you a lot about yourself when you send messages when you don't think anyone is watching. Now everyone's watching, so she's playing a different role as the very a serious professional woman who's being railroaded by others, including Alec Baldwin. And that brings me to my third takeaway. You can blame Alec Baldwin all you want, but you can also still be guilty. Both things can be true at the same time. That Alec Baldwin could be grossly negligent, and you can too. Just because Alec Baldwin may have acted badly 
doesn't mean that you also didn't. And that's where her defense is going to have problems because her defense is based on the jurors thinking, hey, this poor girl is being a scapegoat. She's only 24. Why don't you blame the lead actor, the famous Hollywood star who's also a producer on the film, who hired people and led to this mass chaos on the film set because he tried to do everything on the cheap. And that's why this whole tragedy occurred. And he was the guy in the end who pulled the trigger and shot the victim in this case, Helena Hutchins. Well, that may be true. And Alec Baldwin says he didn't pull the trigger, but video evidence seems to contradict that. And we will be able to discuss that in another video for another day because his trial will be next. But in the meantime, it doesn't mean that lets her off this case because she is the armorer. She's the one who's responsible for the weapons. And the reason why Alec Baldwin got a loaded weapon was because she, the defendant, was the one responsible for making sure the ammunition was fake, were, were dummies. And she allowed six live rounds to be on the set. She's the one who handed the gun to the assistant director, who then handed the gun to Alec Baldwin, who said that the gun was cold, meaning it was clear of any real bullets. Even though Hannah Gutierrez Reed was not in the church the day of the shooting, or at least at the time of the shooting, she's the one responsible to give the gun to the assistant director, who then represented that it was clear because the assistant director thought that Hannah Gutierrez Reed, the armorer, was doing her job properly. And the actor here, Alec Baldwin, also thought that his team was doing the, their jobs properly. And does an actor have a responsibility? to examine the gun afterwards that's represented as being safe and to make sure that there's no live bullet? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough at his trial. Is it enough that he lied about pulling the trigger? I don't know. We'll find out at his trial. But that doesn't take away from the fact that Hannah Gutierrez-Reed did what she did and the jury will hold her accountable for it. Or not. We'll see because she still may take the stand. We just don't know yet. So this trial is going to get more interesting. So stay tuned. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, a.k.a. the Florida Lawman. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And come back here next time for more.